Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and I have something very different to do today. We're going to make leather cuffs two different ways. Uh, they're going to be awesome. I can almost guarantee that you are going to want to run out and buy some of these or order them on Amazon. I'm not even kidding. They're super simple and they turn out awesome. And if you have teenagers or college agers or tween girls, they will absolutely go crazy over this. Okay, so what we're using today are these uh, leather cuffs that you can get, sorry, at Hobby Lobby. You can also order them on Amazon. Um, these are one and a fourth inches wide, and this is, I think it was a size medium. It doesn't say. Okay, and then these are narrower, and they have two snaps, and the other ones we're going to be using are very similar. They, uh, they're just a lighter color leather. So all of this brand, uh, Real Leather Crafts wristbands, is available at Hobby Lobby and you can also get some combinations of it on Amazon. And I think you're going to absolutely love this. Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to do them two ways. We're going to, the first way, oh gosh, look at my hair. <gasps> What's going on here? Um, my glasses pull it up and then I look ridiculous. Okay, this is the first way. And I think you're going to absolutely love this. This this way is using a rub-on transfer from magnoliadiy.com. It's on there secure. Now, I would not go swimming with this. And this is a button that I cut the shank off of and use some E6000 to attach it. So that's one way. We'll do one, and then I have one ready to go to embellish. And then I'm also going to show you how you can stencil them. And here's one. That I'll show you how to heat set. And here's another one that I made a long time ago, but this is like one of my favorites. This is, uh, if you have been crafting with me, then you know that this is my all time favorite stencil. It's called Victorian Pattern. And to make this one, I just used white ink and this stencil I let it dry thoroughly and then I heat set it with an iron it's okay you can do that on leather and then I used some E6000 to glue this kind of buttony thing on it so let's hop right in um, I do want to mention one thing though and that is that I was fiddling around yesterday with this idea and I thought it would be so pretty to use some of this rose gold ink that Magnolia has. And this is a stencil called Western Aztec, which would be great for this project. But because this leather is so light, you can hardly see the design. So I just want to tell you, I would either use a dark color or white um, as your options. And you could use... This is part of the um, uh, Floral Welcome stencil set. This is um, Flower Power. You could use, I mean, there's a ton of different stencils you could use. But let's do, let's do the rub-on transfers first. And I think we'll use this one. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're, this is called Cream Ephemera. And I've just been cutting every, which way and it looks great I think they look great um, with a variety of things on them okay so I'm basically just going to lay my cuff on the back side of this and I'm going to get a pin and oh and this um this Transfer is from magnoliadiy.com. They're new. 
the brands make a new one. It's awesome. It's called Cream Ephemera. And when I'm all finished, I will get links in case anyone wants that. Okay, and then I do need to mark basically where is this um, snap because I want to punch a hole there. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it out. in my drawer with a bunch of other things because it has a little bit of a wrinkle, which I hope that will be okay. So what do you guys think so far? Do you like this idea? I'm going to show you about the buttons, what you need to look for. Um, maybe you have some bling uh, brooches that you might want to use. It needs to be something that kind of is concave, so that uh, so that you can glue it over the top of the snap. Or you don't have to if you don't want to, but it makes it interesting, I think. Okay. Well, hang on. Okay, here we go. All right, and I'm using my, whatever this thing is called. You can use a hole puncher. It doesn't have to be something fancy like this. To just punch a hole. Okay? And then, all you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, bracelet, your leather cuff, and you're going to take off the back sheet of the transfer. It's the white part. And we're going to lay it on top. I'm not doing a very good job with punching my hole. We're laying it on top of our leather wristband. And it will stick. And then this is a new burnishing tool. And you guys, these are awesome. You get three for just a couple of dollars. So if you're going to use any of the new Magnolia rub-on transfers, and I'll show you those in just a second, go ahead and grab a pack of these burnishing tools because you'll want them. They're great. They're so much better than using a, a popsicle stick. Okay, and I'm just going to rub... Just rubbing it on, and you can see where this snap is. Looks like this. I'm going to kind of rub it over the top of that and press it down on the sides. This is so easy. Oh my goodness. And you really could use any of the new Magnolia rub-on transfers if you want. And they just released three more that would all be perfect for this this week. So let me know if you want a link, if you want to pop over there and take a look. Okay, I've rubbed it on. And now I'm just going to pull the clear plastic off. And this is what it looks like. Okay, now looking at the back, I didn't do a very good job with... Um, Cutting it the right size, so I'm just going to trim this up. And then we'll burnish it a little bit more. could cut it a little bit bigger and rub it all the way down the edges if you want, but I am not doing that. I'm trying to just trim it off so it's just sticking 
to the front of the cuff. Okay, and then I'm going to take this back, lay it down. We're just going to burnish a little bit more. Let's see the spot that I missed. Can you believe how easy this is? And then it's, it's, I'm typically not a big bling person. I really am not. Although, um, in July, I'll be doing some bling projects as a part of a new kind of partnership that I'm going to be doing with a company that sells bling. Okay, so it is fully burnished on here. And this is what it would look like if I left it like this. It looks just fine. See where that snap is? But why would I do that? We're gonna um, we're gonna do something cute with that. Let me show you the other rub-on transfers that you can get. I've done quite a few with this. This was the cream ephemera. And I'm not trying to get a particular picture or image on there, I'm just getting the whole combination. This was part of one that was birds. There were four bird scenes that were awesome. This is, it's called Ruby Red. That, that's what I have left of my Ruby Red. And then these are butterflies, and you could use butterflies on it. And these are roses. And then there are three more new uh, transfers that would all work just great. Okay, so let's do some embellishing. And here's what I came up with. You need something that has a little bit of an inside concave so that you can glue it over the top of this snap and have it lay on there good. Um, Lynn, I'm becoming affiliated with Totally Dazzled is the name of it. And it's just a, a small partnership that I will be doing. So occasionally I'll use some of their stuff and, and I'll share links. And if anyone's interested, you can order online. And um, anyways, okay, so this is a button that came from Hobby Lobby. It was regular $4.29. You know, I would never buy a set of two buttons for $4.29 ever. Are you frugal like me? I want to get a, a good value for my money for whatever I'm doing. But uh, they have a deal right now, Hobby Lobby does, where the, lo the more expensive buttons are $1.99 a package and the less expensive ones are $99. So I just grabbed this, thinking that it would probably work. And I do think it probably will, because you can see it's kind of concave on the inside. And it's very much like this one that I already had, that I just used some clippers. Can you see how that goes in? To clip off, and that is what I have on this one. And this is so pretty, oh my gosh. I am going to give some of these away next week, so be watching about how you can get your name in my hat for those. Okay, so I'm going to use my little clippers, and I'm just going to clip this shank. Can you see the shank? This part. I'm going to clip that inside as close as I possibly can. Sometimes these are such heavy-duty metal. To go that you can't clip them. This is what came off and this is basically what it looks like now. Okay and I'm not using hot glue for this kind of a project. I'm going to use some E6000 and I'm just going to put a very generous amount inside of this hole and when I say generous I really do mean generous like it's full. I'm going to lay it on top of my little snap. That needs more. 
get some more in there. It'll dry clear. Let me find something to wipe my hands on. And here we go. This is going to be beautiful too. So this is the first one that I did. Same idea exactly. I clipped the shank off of this. I had two of them. I don't know where those came from. But they were in my little stash. And um, so now I have this one. And I will finish this one up off camera. And I'll probably, I don't know, I'll decide how many I'm going to give away. And what I, um, probably it'll be a sprinkle or something like that. Nothing super cumbersome to get your name in my hat. Um, okay, let me get rid of the glue that's coming out all over. And so anyways, that is how you do that. And I think that they seriously are awesome. Tell me if you think that this is something that you would want to do. And also let me know if you want um, the product information for this cream ephemera um, rub-on transfer, for the leather bracelets, for the little button details. They, these bracelets do come in different sizes. This is a medium and I think this one is a small. So when you're at your store, look, look to see you know, what size is going to be best for you. All right. Now let's do the style. These are stenciled and aren't they fabulous. And this one I've had for a really long time. It's a, a little bit faded. It may have done some dishes on accident, but um, I did this one. Okay, and for this one I used this stencil which is called Floral Welcome. This is the bottom half and then the top says welcome. And I used some of this ink from MagnoliaDIY.com that's called Glittering Black. And this is what it looks like. It's really pretty on this tan bracelet. So let's heat set it and then we'll make a brand new one. Alright, it's the same process of everything else that you've ever heat set. I don't really have my iron turned on. But, because uh, I have already done this, but you're just going to set your iron on cotton, or maybe a smidge lower. Put a piece of parchment paper in between your iron and your bracelet, and wait until it is 100% dry. Give this puppy at least six hours to dry before you try to heat set it. And then you're just going to kind of do this. Same as with everything else. Um, this protects your iron and it will look exactly the same after you heat set it. So, don't have your iron set any higher than cotton, I don't think. I wouldn't recommend that. Okay, so, we are going to do a bracelet with this. And I'm going to use some of the darker ones and we're going to use white ink. Okay, let's talk about price of the bracelets. And you guys, if I didn't say any of my normal stuff, say hi, tell me where you're watching from, feel free to sprinkle, that's the most important thing. But um, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. So when you purchase these bracelets at Hobby Lobby, they're around uh, $3.99 for two. It makes them around $2 a piece. When you purchase them on Amazon, you can get a package, they're going to all be this lighter color, but you can get a package that makes them about $1.50 a piece. You get eight for, I don't know, $12.99 or something. And if you have Amazon Prime, then you don't, wouldn't have any shipping. Um, okay, I'm going to do this darker one. And basically, there's nothing you need to do to prepare your bracelet. Uh, and I'm not going to, I am not going to fuzz my stencil because I've used this a ton. 
And I'm just going to find some interesting spot with lots of flowers to lay over my bracelet. Okay. And I am going to try to do around the button. So I'm going to press that down, this little snap thing, and also around the inside snap part. Okay, so I'm just using Magnolia ink. I don't think you, there's any way you could do this project with chalk paste. And you guys know, I hope, because I say this every video, you don't want to use any kind of paint ever on your stencils. Uh, unless you only want to use them once or twice. I want to use mine this summer, next summer, the summer after, the summer after that. I want to use, a, use the heck out of them. So paint is bad, paint dries quickly in the little holes in this mesh and it's permanent. You cannot get it out and the little holes in the mesh are what give you the design. Um, and just so you know, chalk paste and chalk paint are different. Chalk paint is paint. So it's a no-no. Chalk paste is just fine. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of ink at a time and you can do any color you want. And I'm just pushing it through the holes on my stencil. And making sure to go all the way out to the edge. Got something different here. What is that? A little piece of fuzz or something. Okay. And then I'm going to carefully go around the button the best I can. And I'm carefully going to go around the snap. But the snap will be completely covered up when you're wearing it and you have it snapped. Now I'm just pulling the big gloves off. And this is what it looks like. Pull my stencil off. It looks fabulous. I'm going to throw it in my little tub of water and get a paper towel. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of these little, whoops, one of these little scrapers, and I'm going to kind of pick up the ink that's sort of puddled up around that button, and I'll clean off my backing sheet later. I probably will cover this up anyways with some bling or something interesting. But I did good on the other side. And I'm just going to pull any ink off that's kind of hanging out on the edge. Okay. What do you think? Isn't that fabulous? Okay, so let me share this idea with you guys. Um, If you have watched this page at all, then you know that I'm a complete button freak. They're like one of my favorite things. I love to craft with them. And one fun thing that you can do with metal buttons is you can smush them flat. You lay them on a piece of wood and you use a hammer to smush them. So they start out looking, let's do this one. They start out with this shank on the back, and the more you hammer them, the more concave they get on the inside. And also, if you keep hammering, you can completely flatten them out. But my plan is that once this is dry, I will do this button right here on uh, my little snap. 
with the um, E6000. So, and I'm not sure which one we're going to do on this. We might just do another bling. Anyways, I will figure that off camera. Okay, here's one other idea that we're not going to do today, but I do have a video if you want to see it. I can dig it up. This is a leather cuff that I made and I glued a lace rolled rosette, rosette and two denim rolled rosettes on it. And it's super cute. I also made a necklace that's adorable too. So these cuff bracelets are so versatile. You can get them in a variety of widths, narrow or wide like this. They also have a variety of different uh, leather tones. And um, okay, so let's go back over what I've shown you so far. This was the first one that I made and I made it a couple years ago. This is the Victorian pattern stencil, which probably lots of you guys have this, and white ink on a leather cup. And then I glued this little button on there. Um, this one isn't embellished yet, but this was that floral welcome stencil that we just used with the, um, the black, what is this called? Glittering black ink on it. And both of these have been heat set. This is the one that we just did. Same stencil as this one, but you can see I caught a different part of it. And I used white ink on this one. I will let it fully dry before I go on to the next step with that. Where are the other ones? Oh, here they are. And here are the other two. This one I think I'm keeping for me because this was the first one that I did. So cute. I love it. And this is one that we just did that I need to do some bling or something when I need to get rid of some of this glue that's seeping out here. Anyways. So that's what the project was today. Do you guys like it? Do you think that you are likely to do it? If you have a stencil that has a pattern on it, any pattern, and um, you have some ink from Magnolia, then you can get the bracelets, the leather cuffs, and you can make a stencil one. Easy peasy. And then, if you have some of the new Revon transfers or you want to grab one, you can make some of these Revon transfer ones that are absolutely so adorable. And you can use whichever transfer you want. I like this one because it's super neutral. Um, but you can see how, depending on where it was laying, when I did the rubbing on, it got different parts of the design. So if there's a specific part of the design that you really love, you can do that too. And then I used E6000 glue, so it'll be forever. And, um, and some buttons that I clipped the shanks off of. And that is it. Okay. I don't know how to say your name. Is it Ganise or Janice? She said she's going to do it. The, Carolyn is asking if we don't have this ink, are there other inks? Well, there are no other inks that I would use on a Magnolia stencil. Really, in my opinion, the Magnolia ink and the Magnolia chalk paste and etching cream are completely safe. Everything else is a risk. And if you're going to spend some good money on a stencil, like I've had this for three years now, look at it. It looks terrible, but it still works just fine. If you're going to spend good money on a stencil, you don't want to risk ruining it. And these little pots of ink are not expensive. So I would either do white or black. Francie says she'd like to make some. Carla says, love, love, love. Yay. 
Carolyn says, thank you. Okay, Francine um, Picard says that she's not sure what size she is. Well, I think the, um, the little bracelets tell you what the length is. So measure your wrist before you go to the store. And you can almost just take the bracelet in the package and see. I wear, I wear a small, but I have skinny wrists. Uh, so I would wear a small or a medium, and I think that if you have a small wrist, that that would uh, be your size as well. Barbara says she's making some. Rhea says now I need to make them. Yeah. Um, okay. Somebody's saying they've never seen these cuffs at Hobby Lobby. They're in. They're in my store. They're in the back of the store near all the jewelry making supplies. And there's a small section with everything leather. And that's where they are. But I'm going to get the link also for Amazon. So tell me in the comments if you want a link for the Revon transfers, if you want a link for the stencils and ink, if you want a link, just say link and I'll get you the full list that will have the bracelet information and everything. Um, and I'll be glad to get that so you don't have to hunt it down. I'll even include a link to Amazon in case you want to just order some bracelets on Amazon. Okie dokie. You guys have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day. I'm going to go clean up my stencil and then I, it's nice outside, I might hop outside to answer questions and get links to everyone. Um, so let me know if you would like one. Let me know if you have questions. Sprinkle, sprinkle, if you wouldn't mind. That, that is what helps me with the mysterious Facebook algorithms. It would be super cute in Americana. Yes, and you can glue absolutely whatever you want on them. Like, I was looking at these little buttons. These could be cute. They're little metal flowers. But use a good glue, and I'll make sure to include E6000 or a comparable glue in the list of supplies. Okie dokie. Have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day. Hope to see you guys tomorrow.